So the previous part of the show, the one that we love so much, and Randy, you've had the chance to play something I know a lot of people are really keen for, Mafia 2. That's right, Dan. I was actually, you know, I was at GDC, as you know, a few weeks ago, and I managed to get uh, some hands-on time, and I think it's the first time the press has managed to get some hands-on time with yep. this game, and I've got to say, it's looking, it's looking pretty sweet. Yeah. Hmm. So give us a rundown of the story so far. Okay, so uh, for people who don't know, essentially Mafia 2, big open world game, uh, it's set in America in the 40s and 50s, and essentially you take on uh, the role of a man named Vito Scaletta, you've come back from the Good war. Good Anglo name. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a good, it's a it's a good, it's a good Anglo name. You come back from the war and you're basically, you know, run into an old maid of yours named Joe, who apparently is a made man. So, you know, in you know, in, in Sopranos parlance, that's you know, you're you're, you're in with, with, with the mafia, uh, and, and so basically you're just tracking, you know, Vito's rise through the ranks in, in the mafia in the 1940s and 50s. As I said, open world game, so. Think GTA, but you know, with a lot more Tommy guns. Yeah. Tommy guns. <laughs> <laughs> slow cars, right? Uh, much slower cars, yeah. So very, so period, period authentic. Uh, so you won't have like DeLoreans or anything. <laughs> Actually, you may have DeLoreans. I'm not quite sure because they can't go. Yeah, my They're reply went it. back to the 50s. <laughs> man. And joined, became a made man. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what exactly did you play in this build? They've been showing it for a while now. Okay, so essentially you got to play. The, the, the actual hands-on was an extended story mission, which takes place, I think, uh, like a few hours into the game. So, you know, Vito's already landed in town. He's got his own apartment, and that apartment basically acts as your, I guess, your hub. So you can go in there and change clothes and, you know, um, uh, interact and, and get new missions, that type of thing. So essentially you start today, you get a phone call from Joe who basically tells you to meet him uh, to help him offload some stolen cigarettes. Uh, so obviously this is a video game, so you, like the whole thing isn't just you offload some cigarettes and that's it. Obviously things go haywire, some greases come up. And, and greases? Yeah, yeah. apparently they're, <laughs> those dudes. Apparently they're, they're a 50s or 40s gang and they're just, you know, they're, they're called greases because they have really greasy hair. <laughs> and they try to set the cigarettes on fire? Yeah, they do set the cigarettes on fire, oh, which yeah. is what you're supposed to do with cigarettes, but yeah. not all at once. So they set it on fire. <laughs> they, and they have really croaky voices afterwards? Uh, yeah. And, but but like, basically, you know, you, you give chase and you lose them and then you have to try and find them again. And it all ends up in this sort of big shootout in this abandoned factory. Uh, and it, you know, it was a good chance basically to get hands on with, I guess, a few different aspects of the game. So, you know, that's just walking on the street, uh, the actual driving mechanic, and I guess gunplay combat, that type of thing. So you actually got hands on this time. How does mm -hmm. it actually feel to control Vita? Well, it, 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 you know, it feels obviously very similar to, I guess, other open world, um, action games out there. So, um, apparently the size of Mafia 2, the world, is about double the size of Mafia 1. It's so obviously, you know, a lot of people, a lot of cars. You can just any car you want to by pressing, I guess, Y um, on your controller do again. the police give chase? The police do give chase, but if you get enough, uh, if you get high enough in the organization, you can actually have the option of just paying off um, policemen. So you slip in a couple of hundred dollars and, and you can just basically lose that wanted level altogether. Um, there's a, I guess, like a, there's a combat mechanic, which is just, you know, like punching and picking and that type of thing, which is very simple, just map to the face buttons. But I guess the most interesting thing here is with um, with gun combat, like it, it really focuses heavily on cover. I, I know GTA 4 and a few other open world games have done that, but you really need to, I guess, use cover well uh, in Mafia 2. So, like I mentioned, that you end up you end up in that big shootout. You, you do have a lot of people shooting at you, um, and you know um, you can run into cover and slide in that type of thing. That animation actually looks pretty cool. And you can, you know, stop and pop and, you know, and, and shoot out and run from cover and that sort of thing. Is it because you're, you're just very vulnerable to, to gunfire? Yeah, it, it, it seems to be. Like, obviously you get, you know, you get your, you know, your, your health and that you, um, you know, once again will have to go to, uh, I don't think there are hot dog stands like it is in GTA 4, but you will need to go to, like, stands to get So it uses, like, health, health packs it, it, Yeah, it does use health. Uh, but yeah, so it, it just seems like, yeah, you, um, it, it, it's, a, it's a game that's a lot more suited for, I guess, the cover mechanic. And so, you know, if you're into your third person sort of like um, yeah, 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 games, it, it, it's actually pretty good. And it's and it's got to say, it's looking really sweet. Like uh, what I saw of it, uh, graphics look look quite good. And I guess all the period elements that they put in it were quite good too. Like uh, obviously, just like GTA 4, you get you know different stations, radio stations on your um, on your car. And you know, I'm, I'm not a massive 40s and 50s music guy, but you know, the the, the music really seemed to fit. Sounds authentic. It sounds authentic. And and cars, I've got a, a, a pretty good detail for you. 
they've got hidden playboys like oh, authentic i think 50s era playboys yeah. hidden throughout the world where you can actually you know you if you find them you can actually you know look through the actual magazines was playboy even invented then though uh, i'm pretty sure pornography was invented went back a long in the while DeLorean. ago yeah he... exactly maybe <laughs> marty mcfly brought back some 80s stick <laughs> into the 1950s and left it around the world of mafia tech